everyone and today I'm gonna show you uh, what I think is a rather interesting project uh, using some latest uh, Christmas collection from Sentimentally Yours and it's gonna be Christmas theme uh, but you can make it any theme you like obviously so for this particular project uh, the focus is on crescent top layering tags dies okay and for this particular project you will need to take the largest one and cut out of your uh, premium white cardstock um, eight of those so we want eight of the largest ones and eight of the layering the largest layering die okay so you want eight of those and eight to layer on top okay and we are going to be making a little uh, mini album christmas mini album uh, and i will be using all the beautiful um, dies, uh, the texture dies, our flourishes. I will be using also some poinsettias from previous years, uh, some berry branches. I will be using these ones, this new snowflake, charming snowflake. Uh, dies as well in all three shapes circles squares and rectangles i also die cut some uh, snowflake borders and of course snowflakes 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 everywhere okay i also will be using some uh, cutouts from both packs uh, Festive Charm and Enchanted Winter because I have an absolute ton left over um, after making samples so we're going to be using some of those and for my layering top I chose to go with Two papers from Enchanted Winter and two papers from Festive Charm and I will rotate them okay so at this stage you want to decide which ones you want to be on your front and which ones you want to be on your pages okay so I chose I want uh, my front and back Uh, with this particular design okay so this is going to be my front and my back so I will put those aside for now and after we assemble our little mini album then we're gonna be working on our pages okay so as I said you want to die cut the largest tag, eight of those from cardstock, and this is a premium white cardstock from Sentimentally Yours. So eight of those and eight of the layering ones. Let's put this aside for now. Next thing we want is to make our hinges. Okay, these are gonna be our hinges that uh, the orientation of the album is going to be this way okay so it's going to open up like this so um, your hinges you will need three hinges for those three hinges um, or binding strips or whatever you want <clears throat> excuse me whatever you want to call them you will need three strips of paper that are measuring four and one eighth 
by one and five eighths of an inch. Okay, four and one eighth by one and five eighths of an inch. Then you want to take your scoreboard and you will do this to all three hinges. I already done this too. You take your scoreboard and on one and five eighths inside, you want to score at half inch, half inch and one and one eight inches. So half inch and one and one eighth. Okay. So our hinges are done. You want to fold them towards the bump, fold them and burnish fold and burnish so these three hinges are gonna hold our album pages next thing you want to do is to glue them together and I'm using sentimentally yours premium PVA glue over here so we want these three hinges and we glue them together like so there is nothing special to it all you have to make sure is that they are nice and straight okay nice and straight and just squeeze it for a couple of seconds let it grab a little bit and third hinge doing the same gluing together and our our dog just came to check up on me he's always checking up on me <laughs> making sure that I'm okay <laughs> okay so third hinge gluing this together like so making sure all is nice and even and with this glue I love that you have a wiggle room so if it's not straight you still have a little bit of time to move it around okay so these are our hinges glued together obviously depending on uh, your design inside of the pages this is what is going to determine the gusset and what I mean by the gusset is this um, bit here okay so mine is i believe it's five eighths yes mine is five eighths of an inch because i'm not really planning on doing too much embellishment um, inside i think it should be okay okay so if you want a lot of embellishments inside of your pages then you obviously um, want your gusset to be wider okay but i think for what i'm intending to do this is just perfect our hinge system is done next we are moving on to the spine so to cover this hinge system we're gonna need a spine so to determine your width of the spine and yes let's go to inches okay scrub this one two inches we're gonna go you want to measure your spine and we're gonna go with it is the spine is actually one and seven eighth inches but we're gonna go slightly larger and we're gonna 
have it at two inches. So let me just go ahead and cut for our spine cover or our spine a piece of paper that measures four and one eighth of an inch by three and a half. Four and one eighth of an inch by three and a half. So our spine four and one eighth of an inch by three and a half inches. Take your scoreboard and we're gonna be scoring four and nope we're gonna be scoring three and half inch side at three quarter of an inches and two and three quarter inches okay so now this should cover our hinge system so fold and burnish on your score lines and now we're gonna measure it does fit perfectly inside awesome so this is gonna be our spine next thing we want to do is start gluing our pages and you want to glue them right to these flaps I will be using glue it doesn't take long to dry so you want to position your first one as straight as you can because uh, we're gonna go from here to position the rest of our pages now when you're gluing so one is going on top another one is gonna go on the back and you want them to line up perfectly okay so this is our little hinge one is going from one side another one we are going from another side so let's go ahead and do that
Now, if you want a nice and neat look, then this last bit, you would glue it last. Also, you would glue the first, the top cover last as well. And I completely forgot about it. Okay, I have to admit, I completely forgot about it. But that's not a big deal. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we should have, what we should have done is glued the spine cover first to our hinge system and then start attaching pages. Okay, however, it's not a big deal because we're going to have it covered uh, with our layering bits okay and because I forgot to do that and I only now remembered what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue the spine now like so just make sure it sticks wait for a couple of seconds And then I will glue this side. So what you should do is when we do our hinge system and spine cover, which is this bit, you attach your flaps to the flaps of our uh, binding system. Okay, you don't glue the middle, do not glue the middle, only flaps. And then you start attaching your pages. Okay, then it's going to be a nice and neat look. However, it's going to be nice and neat look with this one as well. It's not a big deal, as I said, because... I will show you now. Let me put this one, last one on top, like so. Glue this one on. So, as I said, if you've done what I've done and forgot to do that, it's not a big deal because I'm just going to turn them around. And this is going to be my front. Okay. And this is going to be my back, which is going to be covered. Okay. So, if you want it to look neat, then after we've done our binding bit straight away glue the cover the spine cover on top and then you attach the pages okay so this is our little album this is how it's gonna look like front back and we're gonna have page one page two page three page four page five and page six and because we have already two layers of cardstock this is very very sturdy now okay now moving on i will leave to decorate front and back at the end so we are moving on to decorating pages and at this stage at this stage um you want to choose 
which papers you want for your pages and I went for my page one and my page two are gonna be this beautiful gray greeny uh, from Enchanted Winter then my pages three and four are gonna be blue and like so this is gonna be pages three and four and my pages five and six are going to be green so these these two i took from enchanted winter paper pack and these two because i'm gonna have these two going on the cover front and back covers these two i took from festive charm creative paper pack okay and let's start to decorate our pages one and two i will be using some ephemera because i do have a lot left over from when i was making samples so because it's going to be a photo album i have used i'll show you now um i have used a charming collection and i have used charm snowflake rectangles charm snowflake circles also i have used charm snowflake snowflake um, squares okay and i did cut them out a few of those and this is where my pictures are going to be going and one thing i've learned while making mini albums do not be afraid to chop your pictures do not be afraid to chop your pictures okay they're gonna look different and they're gonna look absolutely fabulous before you start decorating your pages you can choose you can either decorate your pages on their own and then glue them in okay or glue them in glue your matte layers in glue all of them in and decorate page by page already in the album okay and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take some of my distress oxides and i'm gonna go ahead and ink edges okay and we're gonna go from there i will also glue my pages inside first this time this time i will glue my matte layers in the little album and we're going to be decorating inside of the album okay but it's as i said it's completely your choice because you can decorate your pages first and then you can glue them inside okay in some cases i was doing that as well but this time i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna ink my edges and glue all uh, the layering bits inside okay i went ahead and inked my mat, mat layers uh, i have used stormy sky on all of those uh, distress oxide so as you can see all edges i inked and i did glue all of them in so this is what we've got so far and because we are using glue and it's quite a few layers of cardstock um, this is really sturdy look this is like a proper album so next uh, we need few strips of paper to cover this bit and we need three of those and i have used coordinating cardstock for these strips to go in the middle and these strips are measuring half inch by 
three and seven eighths inches and we're gonna go ahead and glue them in So this is what we've got and next part is a fun part because we're going to be decorating our pages. So stay tuned and check out part two.